Hey everyone, Carol Hickman here with Chick Stamper. I wanted to show you today how I made this cute little treat holder. It, it's a little box and it holds a pack of little mini Tic Tacs. So this paper is from the Trimming the Town Suite and it's also the um, suite that we used last Friday. So every week I like to send out card kits to thank everybody for ordering. And last Friday, my Facebook Live uh, card kits were from Trimming the Town Suite. So I love the suite because it's got this beautiful designer paper and the dies also work on the designer paper. So you can see I cut out the houses, I cut out the wreath, um, the stamps, I cut out, stamped and cut out and colored the car and the Christmas tree. But on our sample, I've actually used the dies to cut out the tree and the houses. So it's the coming home bundle. And you can see it's got these gorgeous houses, so fun to color, and all these different dies to cut out the houses and the trees. And you can see that's what I used here. I've cut out the tree on the designer paper and the little houses to make our treat box for today. So let me go ahead and show you how I made it. And again, thank you to everybody who ordered last week and your treats are going in the mail today. Okay, let me start with a piece of early espresso. And this piece is one and a half by three and three eighths inches. And I'm gonna score down at three, or excuse me, at five eighths. Five eighths down, then I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. And we're gonna score again at three eighths. one and a quarter, one and seven eighths, and two and three quarters. Okay, so now we're just gonna trim this up a little bit. This small little corner tab here, we're gonna trim right off, because we don't need him to make our box. And then the tab that's left, I'm gonna trim it just so that we and kind of get rid of some of the bulk. All right, so then I'll trim up on the smaller side, right up to the score line. And this is that five inch side. And we can trim, again, some of these corners out to reduce the bulk when we fold up our box. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. So let's score it and make those lines nice and crisp. Remember, every time we score on a box or a bag, we wanna make the lines really crisp because that helps everything be square and not um, lopsided. Okay. So now you can see we've got our box. So let's put a little, little bit of adhesive and I'm, you could use tear and tape. I'm gonna use our seal, our stamp and seal because it holds really well. So I'm just gonna fold over the box just like that. And then we can fold in the bottom, the bottom flaps. We'll do this one. So it's a simple box. It doesn't take much. And it doesn't have to hold much. Those little Tic Tac holders are small and lightweight. I think they have about five or six little Tic Tacs in them. So look, there's our cute little box. So I used, again, my dies from the Coming Home Bundle. And I cut out some of that little houses on the designer paper. So the easy thing here is we're just gonna put this house right on the front of our box. And then we'll put one on the back side as well. So I made these earlier in the year. I used um, when we had the poppy paper. And I made some of these and just made a 
few of them throughout the year of different, different designs. And they're just fun, fun and easy. There we go. How cute is that? Now I also cut out these trees from the designer paper, actually the same sheet. And so I just thought it would be fun to put trees on there as well. So I'm just gonna use a glue dot and then we'll add some Wink of Stella to the tree just to give it a little shimmer, shimmer and shine. And we'll just do the same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna do it on this side so that it's symmetrical. With the back side, and it'll be the same when you look at it. So there you go. Okay, so let's get some Wink of Stella because who doesn't like a little shine on everything? And bling it up a little bit. And the nice thing about this is this dries so fast. You don't have to worry about it getting on anything. There we go. Okay, and this time we've got a blue tic-tac holder. There you go, or a tic-tac container. What do you think? Simple, but just a cute, fun little stocking stuffer. You can use this for any type of treat that you like. I think it's adorable, and you can find other ideas using that same box. That box will hold the, the mini Tic Tacs and you can find those on Amazon. You can find them generally at airports. A big uh, big container that holds, gosh, I don't even remember, 60 or something. Um, so you can make a whole bunch for everybody. I hope you like that today. And if you ordered last week, again, thank you so much. Your packets are going out in today's mail. So enjoy putting those cards together and enjoy your cute little treat. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.